Hey guys, welcome back to another Psychcraft episode. So today we're gonna work on something a bit silly, but more about that later. Just wanna give you an update on our pigment genocide contraption. We've been farming basically non-stop the last couple of weeks. As you can see on the scoreboard, Bech Machine killed over 55 million pigment this way already, which means we got plenty of gold. So we got probably over 100 million nuggets from this farm already. And we've been crafting a lot of those nuggets into gold blocks. Let's actually head over to the overworld and can show you the current progress. So we're at the big crafting system, which we use every about five to six days. On the right, you can also see a scoreboard. I crafted almost 11 million gold ingots. And we also have a gold block crafted scoreboard. There we are. Yeah, Drech Machine has over 700,000, Sky Racing has a couple, and there is other people also have some, so definitely over 1 million. Unfortunately, we lost a lot of gold blocks um, the first time we used this, and also the last time. For the first time, there was a little issue with the hoppers of the Schalke box filler here in the back. Um, they were pointing downwards instead of to the side, which caused us to lose. 140,000 gold blocks. It was pretty devastating, but it was even worse. The last time we were using this, this is always a two-player uh, uh, crafting contraption. One player crafts the nuggets into ingots, and then the second player crafts them into gold blocks. We do this AFK, so we have an auto hotkey clicking script that does it. Last time, Rechenschini was hit by a Windows update, and he stopped crafting. So I was crafting all of the ingots into... Uh, all the ingots up there, and they just despawned. We lost about another 200,000 gold blocks worth of gold. Nevertheless, we have a really good amount, so we had the goal to get 1 million gold blocks. And we got 5 double chests, 10 double chests, and the hoppers in the back filled, already with shulker boxes filled of gold blocks, and then we got another 28 shulker boxes of gold blocks. This should be a million. So we actually reached our goal, but we still want to keep going and get a little bit more. Additionally, we also have two and a half million gold ingots stored in the nether, which we can also use for bartering. I was curious how much items you could actually get with one million gold blocks if you exchange it with the piglins in 1.16. And those are actually interesting numbers. So we can get 784,000 obsidian this way, one and a half million crying obsidian, 3.3 million nether quartz, so we can craft all the comparators and observers we'll ever need, finally. And yeah, we also get 3.9 million soul sand and a bit over 9 million blackstone. It's also pretty good. All right, so the only thing that I kind of want to do with the gold, and this is something, this is the silly part here. Uh, so we have it neatly stored, the over 1 million gold blocks in just... Yeah, 22 cubic meters. And this kind of looks a bit disappointing because it is a, the whole gold storage. I always thought it would be nice to store our gold blocks in block form somewhere and have a giant cube. With 1 million gold, we could make a 100 by 100 by 100 cube of gold and build it somewhere in the overworld. Um, obviously it would be quite tedious to get it back in exchange with the piglins. That's why I thought we just keep the gold from running a little bit and do this anyway. So we just have this huge cube of gold somewhere in the world because I just think yeah, I like it. <laughs> so Minecraft is a game where you can yeah, just do whatever you want and it's something I just want to do. So we'll take all the gold and place it down somewhere. If you remember an older Sidecraft episode about the witch farms, we actually already have a machine that would allow us to build the gold cube while we AFK. So we place everything down and the flying machines bring it into place. But I kind of want to do this manually because it's just so satisfying. So I'm gonna grab the first batch of gold and bring it over to the location where we want to build this. Oh yeah! There's something you could also talk about. You might remember the episode where I talked about the sponges. Helvins actually replied and he joined the server after several years and gave us the five stack of sponges. So it worked. Great news. But where would we build a giant cube of gold? So I think we could start 
Um, yeah, going out from the desert city again, definitely nowhere near because I don't think it would look too good right next to it. But we could maybe follow our road again. So last time we found a good spot for the pyramid with the wither killing system inside. I was thinking maybe we get a, a nice flat area over here in the savannah. There might be a plains nearby. I think this might be a good location. Uh, here we got the road. Let's maybe just fly out a little bit. I'm just basically looking for a huge area that is relatively flat. And I think, yeah, here we got a plains biome. This would be fitting. Yeah, this might be a good location. I think I found the spot. This is a nice and flat area. Definitely enough space for a big gold cube. I think if we maybe start here in this corner, then go 100 blocks this direction, 100 blocks in that direction, and fill yeah, everything up. Yep, there's not too much effort involved in, in making space for the cube. Chop down some trees, mine some of the dirt here. This is perfect. All right, then we can already start. I already brought over a little bit of gold. We're gonna deposit it there. Um, we're gonna make a time lapse, of course. I assume it will take quite a few hours to get this done. Um, process already said he's gonna help. Maybe more side crafters will join in. It's probably gonna be a couple of sessions of building this, but yeah, this is gonna be fun.
So there we go, everything led up to this moment. It only took us 163,549 days to build a 1 million gold block cube. And since this is probably the first one, this is also a new world record in the 1 million gold block speedrun category. Okay, obviously it's super stupid, but we actually got it done. It took us, I would say about 20 man hours, there was always people helping. I was building on it for seven hours, but here we go. One million gold blocks exactly in a 100 by 100 by 100 cube. There's also some interesting facts about this gold cube here. So gold is pretty malleable. In real life, a gold cube of this size would collapse under its own weight. So we got 19 million tons of gold here, which is actually about a hundred times more gold than humanity has mined in its entire existence. Pretty impressive here. So if you would take all the gold humanity is mined, you got a cube roughly with a length of 20 meters. And if you look at all the gold that is in the Earth's crust, so which would be technically reachable, uh, there we have 400 million tons. So this cube of gold would already be 5% of that. This gold is pretty heavy. Most of the gold is actually close to the yeah, core of the earth, uh, there we have 1.6 quadrillion tons of gold, which is about 100,000 times more than this year. So we have a long way to go to reach this. It's also pretty cool that we can see the cube of gold from our main road. I only noticed that later, so the main road here next to the huge dragon. So it's within random distance of the gold cube, just barely. Pretty neat. Okay, so one more fact. If you would be able to sell all of the gold at the current rate, which obviously is not really realistic. If you would have so much gold, obviously the markets will collapse. But let's say you could, this would be worth one quintillion dollars. We also just did another gold crafting session. So we do have 400,000 gold blocks available for map art and bartering in 1.16. All right, this episode was a bit shorter. The next episode is pretty much recorded already. It's gonna be about the chicken farm like I promised in a previous episode. Okay, thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.